You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR 2 News headlines. Surveillance pictures released of a potential shooting suspect. Police believe this person may have been involved in a shooting that seriously injured a 17 year old boy. It happened on Greenmount Avenue last Friday, just after 3.30 in the afternoon. If you know anything about the person in this photo, you're asked to call Metro Crime Stoppers at 1-866-7-LOCKUP. The cash reward for information in this case is up to $4,000. A new plan today that will help those with language barriers to report hate crimes easily. The Maryland 211 campaign is expanding its multilingual access thanks to a new partnership with the House of Immigrant Affairs. This new service will allow those with English as a second language to report hate crimes and get assistance all in one place. 211 currently supports more than 150 languages and is available 24 hours, seven days a week. After 155 years, Morgan State University has hired its first woman to oversee athletic operations. Dina Freeman Patton will be the new vice president and athletic director of intercollegiate athletics. University's president David Wilson says Freeman Patton offers a wealth of experience. She brings nearly 25 years of experience, which includes overseeing 10 sports and managing more than 50 personnel, including staff and coaches. Well, the American Visionary Art Museum's kinetic sculpture race is coming back after two years and just in time for Mother's Day. This Saturday at 10 a.m. you can visit downtown to see various works of art racing through the city. These sculptures are made mostly from bicycles, gears, and recycled materials. The teams are competing to be the grand mediocre champion, which surprisingly isn't awarded to the first group to cross the finish line. It's actually awarded to the group that finishes exactly in the middle of the pack. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And we're looking at a damp day on tap as we head towards hump day. Uh, some showers out there for some folks as you're hitting the roadways, miles and temperatures. And we're going to be watching some afternoon showers and thunderstorms fire up, especially along and south of I-95. But I'm expecting all that to die down as we head into the evening hours. Temperatures are going to be unseasonably warm as we soar into the upper 70s for daytime highs across most of the state, but we're cooling as we head towards the weekend. Keeping things dry for your Thursday, but more showers as, as temperatures fall into the lower 60s by Saturday. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com. All day we'll bring you updates on some of our top stories as well as breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, don't forget to download the WMER2news app. You can find it in your app store.